This looks like a jewelry box. This was full. And what I did is I started pulling bags out like this. They had stuff like this in it, full of silver, full of silver, like big bags of silver. Um, we already put them over there. I'd get uh -huh. up and I'm, and I'm old. I'm not getting up. Uh, I'm getting older. So anyway, uh, we're just going to go through some of this and look right here. So let me set the camera real quick. I'm going to show them. Check this out, y'all. What's that look like right there? Does that look like a lockbox? It is a lockbox. How long has this lockbox been under here? Stay tuned to the end of this video to find out what is in that lockbox. What's in this box? We don't know, guys. How long has this stuff all been under here? Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Grimes Finds. It is Sunday, November something. Uh, but here's the dang deal. We just got out of church, right? Right. Uh, it was a great service. It was a strange service, or what some would call strange. I would just call uh, God's hand in movement. And uh, But anyway, uh, it was very strange, y'all. So at church today, uh, y'all saw the do perfect thing. Y'all know what's going on. Uh, I had no idea that I go to church with Garrett, who's the, the red-headed one, you know, shaved head like me. Uh, I go to church with his baby brother. I, I'm serious. I had no idea. We were sitting like four rows away, and I'm talking to the pastor after, and he's like, yeah, uh, one of them's a really good friend of mine uh, since before Dude Perfect, and he said, that guy over there is one of their brothers, and I was like, are you got to be? The Lord works in mysterious ways, guys, and I can't take credit for any of that. Uh, but since this whole thing started, I am going to release a full video uh, from just a, a personal, spiritual, uh, I guess, perspective of things. Uh, it may not make sense now, but I promise you, stay tuned for that video. Uh, but anyway, so I ended up chatting. I'm serious, guys. This is blowing my mind right now. I ended up was just sitting there, me and Gina were chatting with uh, Garrett's brother afterwards. He's got this cute little baby, uh, real nice guy. Uh, but anyway, I, I didn't think we'd get anything different because anyone and everyone uh, connected to those guys that I've heard of or known or seen um, are just seem like they're phenomenal good people. So anyway, hey, here's the dang deal. We have actually, uh, our church just kind of changed over to new things. We had church membership class uh, that we're going to do since we moved out here to Plano. We've been putting that off. We shouldn't have, but we did. Uh, but anyway, so we have that, but we got to run out here uh, and pay um, for a bulk buy I did, it's called Vicon Village in Garland. It's an indoor thrift market. Um, or, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, flea market. It's, flea it's market. an indoor yeah. flea market. And so, anyway, me and Renee and Jay were up there, and we were just Jeremy from What the Hells, and we were uh, in there, and they have a lot of the gates closed. And so we were looking in there, and we made a joke about, hey, let's just see if we can buy it all in bulk. Anyways, Renee said something to a guy there, he gets the guy on the phone that owns the stuff in there. Um, he's been going through some health problems, so he has, uh, anyway, I made a deal with the guy for a thousand bucks for everything, and I promised him I would get him the money today so he could be gone with it. So we're running out here to pay him cash, put on our locks onto the uh, booths. They have gates across them. Um, so we're going to pop our locks on, pay him, and we're going to pick that stuff up tomorrow. Uh, but anyway, uh, as soon as we get there, I'll pop back in and I'll kind of show you uh, what I bought for $1,000. You can tell me down in the comments if you think I got a good deal or didn't. You might not be able to tell. There's a ton of stuff in there and uh, Renee thinks it's a great deal. I thought it was a good deal. I really, to be honest, I didn't want it at the beginning. Um, but... Uh, the guy seemed like he was a nice guy. He's going through some things, and I can tell he's just exhausted. He's ready to be done with it, and he's had a lot of people backed out on him. So, uh, Anyway, so I purchased it. Cool thing about it is it's only like two minutes down the street from my business, and so we'll pick that stuff up tomorrow, and I'll show you the footage uh, here in a minute. Um, but as soon as we get there, I'll show you what it looks like, and we'll just follow this journey through that, and I'll release this video. Uh, we'll see you in a minute. All right, guys, so we're, we're back real quick just because I couldn't tell. Does that look like the old McDonald's, like, base of the slide? Remember, you'd crawl up in it and had the big burger thing? Uh, I don't know if that's what that is, but we are about to exit, but I wanted to pop in and show you all that massive tree uh, with the eyeballs and the nose. So, anyway, hey, you don't see that every day, so I thought I'd show you. Be right back.
guys, so we are back. Check it out. This is what we bought for a thousand bucks. Come on in and look. So kind of give them a scan around, babe. Okay. Uh, so we got the, the keys. So here's the dang deal. We came up here yesterday. As you saw, we did not film when we came in, but here's the keys to the locks. So we bought out this spot and we bought out this spot. Okay. Really? So this guy's been here, I can't remember, 13 to 17 years. Uh, so we bought out all of this. We bought out all of this. Look, these are full of jewelry uh we got a lot of jewelry over here so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and get pop the locks off uh do a scan around and we're just gonna start going through stuff so we'll be right back So we are back. Check that out. Now I'm sitting here looking at this. Those look like those are silver. Okay, so check it out, guys. I don't even know where to begin. So we're going to start with jewelry. And I now possess and own all of this stuff. And we have till the end of the week to get it out. But we're going to get this done today. So look, I have not. When I came in here and bought all this, I didn't look at this stuff. I don't know what's sterling. I don't know if any of it's sterling. Um, let's just pull out a tray and look. I swear if all this is sterling, it's going to be crazy. Man, what if we found some gold in here? You think we're gonna find gold? It'd be nice if we did. So I'm just trying to look for some, see if we can find some silver. So I do know, um, man, I'm so pumped. This isn't that baby, that's 925. So mm -hmm. that means a lot of this stuff's probably gonna be 925. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is stamped 925. Pretty. Okay, look. Like that. So check this out, guys. See all of these earrings right here? All of these. There's got to be what? Let's say 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Let's say there's probably 50 pairs of earrings here, okay? Uh, I'm just going to pull one down. Look, it's got the mother of pearl inlays on all of these. Okay? And if you read right there, uh, it says sterling. Okay? Yep. So look. These are silver too, okay? From the eye, I can tell most of these are sterling silver. Okay, so we probably right here have 100 pairs of silver earrings. I did not know this when I first came in here. Uh, so look, 100 pairs of sterling earrings, let's say times 10. How much money is that? Uh, $1,000. How much there do we go. pay for this? $1,000. I'm not joking, y'all. I really <coughs> believe that we will make our... Um, <coughs> Excuse me. Um we will make our money back alone in the sterling silver jewelry. Okay, this is the first tray I pulled out and it said silver. So what I am curious is some of this stuff right here. Is this gonna be silver and gold? Y'all, if this is gonna be silver and gold, I'm gonna freaking, I'm gonna be freaking pumped. So that's broke, but that does look like silver. Mm -hmm. I'm almost gonna bet that's silver. I did see these, I'm wondering if these are silver. These look like they might be silver, babe. That's all silver. That's a lot of silver, yo. Like, I'm telling you right now, this is heavy. If these are silver, y'all, okay, uh, let's start digging in. Where we at? Where we at? Where's the, where's the clasps? Golly, if these are silver. Look, they are. 925. All okay. right. Let's hold that one. Let's find another clasp. Look. 
Yep, 925. These are silver, yo. Hey, all of this, if these big chains are silver, let's see if the big chains are silver. Okay, here's the clasp. Man, if these are silver, it's gonna be freaking awesome. Okay, I don't think these are silver. Okay, that clasp isn't. But look, old whistles. So check it out. These uh, these chains, most of these chains are, are going to be silver right here. Um, all right, guys. So I, <laughs> I'm a little overwhelmed right now. What we're going to do is, is look here. Let me just pull this out so you just understand what we're dealing with. Okay, look at this. This is just on the bottom row. I am curious about this box. I don't know if there's anything in it. You want to see? Uh -huh. I think we have plenty of one, two, three boxes, don't we? I think we do. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and open this one. See if anything's in it. Oh, oh nothing in it. Nice, uh, it still functions. It is fine. That's yeah. nice, though. All right, so let's see. You think any of this is silver? You think this is silver? Mm, it's pretty lightweight. I'm going to assume this is silver. Okay, just a little polo charm. Okay. Let's see. You think this is silver? Yo, if this stuff's silver, babe, I would really scored. Okay, that's so dingy inside that I can't even read it. You have to get you're gonna have to get your magnet going. Don't you get think? My glasses, yeah. Um, wow. Okay, look, sterling. Right in there, it says sterling. I, I'll be honest, when I bought this, I thought this was all gonna be costume. I'm not gonna lie. Um no way. You think this is silver? I'm gonna say this is silver. This 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 looks silver. It looks like it was yeah, it does. handmade, but I'm gonna almost guess that is silver right there, guys. You think we're gonna find gold? If we find gold, I think I'm, it's gonna, possible. I'm gonna freaking flip out. Okay, guys, so look, just check it out. Um, there is so much freaking jewelry in this thing. I mean, you're all the way on the bottom row. Huh? Said you're on the bottom row. Oh wow. <laughs> okay. Look, there's things like this in here. I have no idea what's in here. Look. Remember we had something similar to this, just costume jewelry, and it went for 40 bucks for just the bracelet. Oh yeah. Okay. Definitely. But look down here, like there's these trays everywhere, y'all. Everywhere. Look at this. Watches. Look at this. Watches. <laughs> look, look down here. Have no idea. Brooches. Look at this. Look, guys, I'm telling you, there's stacks and stacks and stacks of jewelry. Oh my goodness. God, oh, look, babe. There's got to be gold in here. Oh, wow. There's got to be gold in here. There's got to be gold. Look. Costume jewelry, vintage costume jewelry. Mm, that does well, too. Is that brass? kind of interesting so all right guys so I look and let me just see it here I'm gonna show you guys real quick um, just kind of like look here's some badges these are cool these will sell for probably you know maybe 10 15 20 bucks so I have no so when I was in here I didn't look under here I didn't look under anything really okay I uh, look there's baseball cards over there he says there's some 60 stuff in there I only saw 90 stuff uh but anyway guys so let us just kind of get our heads wrapped around this because right now i'm kind of freaking out like there's so much silver in here what if some of these are gold chains look at these look at all these chains you think any of these are gold i'm looking at that right now and i'm telling you i see silver and gold i think look at these look at this guys look at this okay wow guys broke just in every crevice, there's cool little stuff. Belt buckles. Okay. Um, look down here. What is this? What is, what is this? There, I, I have a feeling. Oh, more silver. Is that silver? Some of that looks like it's silver, y'all. Okay, look. Bags of jewelry. Look at this. What are these? Look, you think these are sterling? I bet a lot of these are silver. You want to bet? They are, yeah. So, oh, look at that. There might be a hundred pairs of silver, silver earrings on there. So many okay guys so let us look just everything every little crevice has something new in it 
Look at these little boxes. There's a PlayStation. Look, thimbles. Whoa. Look, maybe some of these are sterling. All right, guys, look. That might be silver. So here's the deal. We're going to start going through this, like I said. Um, and maybe we should do a challenge. We should see how much silver we pull out of this joint. Yeah. What if we pull out, I mean, I don't even know. Let us get started. I've just got to wrap my head around this, guys. We'll be right back. All right, guys, so we are back. Check this out. So we got most of the jewelry out. It's down here, okay? Uh, kind of show them that, babe. Uh, so those are full. If I had to guess, there's at least, probably in both of those tubs, there's four to 500 pieces of sterling silver jewelry. I'm not joking. And again, I had no clue. I for sure would have thought that this would have been just all costume or for the you know maybe a piece or here or there but it's not it's like there's so much silver y'all and so anyway I started taking these big groups of necklaces down like this off of these things and we started putting them in here and I was gonna go through it later but look at this that's a 14 karat gold necklace mm -hmm. can you get it oh there it is can you see it clear uh-huh okay a 14 karat gold necklace okay um, Wow so that's gold we're finding gold in here. Uh, so what we're gonna do is, is I'm actually gonna go through this and see, so like that one doesn't have a clasp on it, it's missing. So I'm gonna go through the rest of these. That came out of this group. And so I'm gonna look through these and see if we can find any more gold. And what we might do, if we find stuff like this that's missing the hooks or something, uh, I might go scrap this in at the end of this video. I'm not sure yet, depends on how much gold I find. Or I might just set it back and hold it for a later date. But anyway, I wanted to pop back in real quick and just let you know we found gold in this. Again, we paid a thousand bucks for all of this. So far, it's looking really good. Uh, again, it was unexpected. It's not something I wanted to do, but actually, it's turning out to be worth it. So uh, let's. We're gonna keep getting getting back to this, unpacking, and hopefully by the end of this, maybe we'll find a few ounces of gold. Who knows? So we'll be right back. All right, guys, so we are back. So I have gone through this kind of meticulously, and we have tubs and tubs and tubs of jewelry, guys, and I just keep finding more sterling, like tons and tons of sterling. So anyway, uh, wanted to pop back in because there is, uh, first uh, got to this section, and if you look back here, there's actually boxes of baseball cards or sports cards we don't know right I, I, did, I did open this one okay and I'm gonna shoot straight with you it was an older box I was a little excited but then I got in here and it's like 80s and 90s stuff but there's a good mix of it uh, to newer stuff and so what we're really hoping for is pre 70s stuff that's what we want uh, so anyway look look at all these cards over here there's loosey gooseys there's books of cards down here look there's boxes of stuff so anyway the guy had this place like I say let's say 15 years because uh, I keep getting 13 to 17, I don't know. Uh, but where I'm going down in here and why I want to film with you guys is because you've been here so long, there's got, I mean, we've already found gold and we've already found silver. So what else was forgotten back in these crevices under these tables for the last decade, let's say. So anyway, we're just gonna look for some more cards. Go, oh, let's see. So look, it looks like probably what they do sometimes is they'll pull the good cards, right? And they'll put them in here, like the rookies and stuff like this. Uh, so it's kind of, I don't know. Crime shakes it. Crime shakes it. All right, all right, you ready? Uh-huh. What is there? Oh, look, got cards. Got cards. Okay. Oh, look, Nolan Ryan. What kind of Nolan Ryan? Oh, oh man, here. that'd be awesome. Okay, so look, there's Nolan Ryan, like old Slurpee coin. Uh, Daryl Johnson, love Daryl Johnson. So, look, Slurpees, this looks like 90s stuff. Let's see, usually let's see if, if they put anything in the protectors. And it doesn't look like, maybe he was gonna get to this? I don't know. All right, we'll go through this stuff later, but I can tell you right now off the bat, not too exciting, um, just because, okay, man, this dude had like jewelry everywhere. Um, so, look, let's just go through here. Let's thumb through some of these. Okay, then we'll get a tub and we'll keep all these cards in one. So look, this is like really mass produced stuff. He, the guy told me, I said, you know, what kind of cards you got down there? He said, he said from the 60s forward, uh, which he might have one or two 60s in here, but what I'm seeing so far, Bobby, um, it's st this is stuff from my childhood. And to be honest, stuff from my childhood is not worth a ton, okay? Um, 
there is a few select cards. But that thing's been staring me in the face all day, and I want to know like what's in there. <laughs> what is that? Uh, oh, sure. Some kind of shirts. Central Market H E B. All right. Got a stack of Central Market H E B. Not interested. Oh, comics. I did not expect to find comics. Look, Turok number one. Um, so something interesting, I guess, about these is that Valiant, um, Bloodshot, uh, I think Vin Diesel's playing Bloodshot. But, <clears throat> so Valiant comics really are not that hot. There's some out there, but they're not that big. But they're actually going to start releasing a lot of the movies, and which is going to, I think, bring more popularity to Valiant. But look, these are Turok, and it's number one. Okay? It looks like we have several copies of it. Several copies of it. Okay? Uh, Solar, several copies of this one. But so Valiant is about to start releasing movies, and I guarantee you the Bloodshot with Vin Diesel is going to go super popular. And so Valiant Comics, I believe, are going to go up in price. So hang on to your Valiants. Uh, nothing in that. Let's see if these are random or if there's any kind of order to them. Okay. Again, stuff from my childhood. Uh, nostalgic. Not worth a ton. I will go through these better. Just make sure there's no key cards in there. Um, it's a lot more shake, cards. Shake, shake, shake. Oh. There's something in that. Yeah. That is a nice clasp. Okay, that's plated. I can just tell where it's bubbling up on a few little spots, but that's pretty. Mm -hmm, that's pretty. So what I'm guessing is this might be a bunch of these. Oh, here we go. So Linden World Fine Jewelry. Okay. You think these are all full? Uh, probably, probably so. Probably. So look, good wearable jewelry. These are pretty necklaces, so look. Mm -hmm. Okay, so look, a whole, ooh, what's that one? Oh, Which one of these box. does not belong here? Hello. 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 What movie is it from? Medea. Medea. We like Medea. We do. Uh, we got to watch Medea. It's Christmas. It's one look, of the best. Sterling. All right. So is look. Is it a necklace? Yeah, look. It's like a cat eye. Uh-huh. See it? Oh. That's really pretty. That's pretty. So check it out. What if there's gold? I know. So look, guys, mm, look we just found those. more silver. I am not, y'all. Probably silver is probably somewhere between sixteen and eighteen bucks right now. I don't know, but I gotta figure there's, there's gotta be hundreds of ounce, like seriously, hundreds of ounces of sterling in here. Uh, I'm gonna figure that out tonight because what we're gonna do is, is we got so much jewelry, we're putting together a jewelry auction for you guys. So Dude Perfect's going up tomorrow. Uh, you'll see this video tonight, and then tomorrow uh, or this week we're putting up a. Uh, a big jewelry sale. Everything's gonna start at a dollar. Gold, silver, the whole kit and caboodle, vintage watches, everything. Who uses the word kit and caboodle? Just you. I'm pretty sure that's <laughs> about the fifth time I've used that in a video and that's like, I feel like that's excessive. Yeah. Because nobody uses that word. So that's pretty cool. So what else are we gonna find down here? We found silver down here. More boxes. Of jewelry. Jewelry boxes. You think there's stuff in there? Yeah. I mean, all things being equal, you know, we found jewelry in the other boxes. Oh, pins. Look at that, guys. Those are pretty. Pins. Oh, more, more pins. pins. Nope, that's empty. Oh, let's go for this one. Okay, nothing oh, in that one. Empty. That's all right. That's all right. We're finding plenty. Okay, so a lot of these know. boxes look empty. Uh, but we're going to check them all. We're going to check every... Wait, what's that? Alright, so a lot of these boxes are empty. No big deal, right? Hey, those I'm telling pins you, are right, nice, though. If we didn't find anything else, and literally, look over here. This is as far as I've gotten. I promise you, <laughs> I've found... That. I promise you, I've found uh, a few hundred ounces of silver yeah. already. So, alright, i got to keep going because there's so many little boxes down here. Look, there's another box. Uh, baseball cards, okay. Uh, those are repops of older cards. I can tell by looking at the sides. These are probably, again, uh, 
all mass produced 80s, 90s stuff. Um, speaking of a caboodle, isn't this what this was called? That is a caboodle, I think. Maybe that's, I saw it out of the corner of my eye. That's where Maybe that's why you I said a kitten it caboodle. Okay. So it looks like it's empty. Yeah, so this is empty. That's okay. okay. Look, there's this little blue box under here. Oh, found a jewelry box. Can you see uh -oh. it? Can you see it? Right here. Oh, all Why right. is that? Why would you stick that all the way down there? I don't know to hide it, maybe? Hold on, guys. Oh, oh, hold on. Sam shakes it. Hashtag, okay. y'all. get this stuff out of my way. It feels light, I'm not gonna lie. It's really nice, though. Yeah, it's still good. Mm -hmm. Is that a piece of gold in there? One earring. All the gold gets trapped behind the doors. <laughs> okay, so hold on. Where's that other thing? What's in this? Uh, more, more cards. More cards. Again, that's 80s, 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 90s. Okay. Um, nice. Ready? Yep. What is there? We ain't playing around, fool. We, our people, we got so much stuff to go through. Look, more loose cards. Looks like a mixture. Uh, I'll go through these later just to make sure there's no uh, big, big time cards in there. All right, guys, so that's what you kind of see. Uh, we'll just keep popping in and out. We're gonna finish up this section. If we find more stuff, we'll pop back in. Uh, actually, I wanna do this. Let's do this. This okay. is killing me. It's killing you. <laughs> oh, it's not really killing me. Look, so look at these guys. Why are these all protected? Is there anything good in these? Okay. Cecil Fielder. Still newer stuff. Yeah, John Smoltz. These are these are uh, stars from whenever I was a kid. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So I, I'm, you know, I'll be excited to go through those. But this thing right here, probably empty. This thing right here's been getting me. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Be empty. I'll be empty. Uh, uh, cigar cutter. Oh, awesome. I'm trying to see what's down in the bottom. What do you hide all the good stuff? Some two pieces. Okay. I'm like just got a pile of crap on me. <laughs> I know. Okay. I'm glad there's not a lot of people around here. It's a good thing we came on a Monday, right? Okay, so these are stamped. Let's see what these are stamped. Okay, it says Mexico. Um, I can't read the second mm -hmm. stamp, but it does look like numbers. So I guess these are silver. Yeah. Uh, let me see if I can find a clear stamp. Okay, I can't read those, but if these are silver, y'all, look, that's what all of these are, is oh. all of these. So, all right, guys, so let us um, get this area cleaned up, packed up, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, so we are back. I kind of, I'm not going to lie, I shifted over here. I don't know why. <laughs> I just want to shift. I want to get out of the corner. So, check it out. So, I started taking some stuff off here, and I think came to this box. Okay, this right here. Uh, oh, please be comic books. I really wasn't expecting to find comic books, but if we find comic books, I'll be excited. Show you that in a minute. Found this. This looks like a jewelry box. This was full. And what I did is I started pulling bags out like this that had stuff like this in it, full of silver, full of silver, like big bags of silver. Um, we already put them over there. I'd get uh -huh. up and I'm, and I'm old. I'm not getting up. Uh, I'm getting older. So anyway, uh, we're just going to go through some of this and look right here. So let me set camera real quick. I'm gonna show them. Check this out, y'all. What's that look like right there? Does that look like a lockbox? It is a lockbox. 
How long has this lockbox been under here? Stay tuned to the end of this video to find out what is in that lockbox. What's in this box? We don't know, guys. How long has this stuff all been under here? We don't know. This guy's been here for 13 to 17 years. So uh, anyway, here, let me give this back. Okay, so we're going to go through here. Man, we're just like, are we jewelry magnets? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I really did. I had no idea all this stuff was in here. But look, look at all these Hello Kitty watches. Those are cute. Look, they are. They're cute and they're in really nice condition. Look, here's another one. Okay. Um, let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, Tupperware. Tupperware. Just what you need. Right? No. Uh, oh, look. Oh, Never have too much Tupperware. Okay, so we'll do this, and then what we'll do is, is we'll get this stuff down, uh -huh. and we'll come back, and uh, we'll go through that and see what's in the lockbox. Okay. So check this out, guys. This is going to be two or three episodes this week. Uh, just because there's so much, there's so many little crevices, we have no idea. I'm just now realizing there's a drawer on that desk. Sorry. Uh -oh. I know I'm like all over the place to say it. Drawer. There's a yep. drawer on that desk. What's in that desk that was covered? I don't know. Now I want to go over there and find out, but I'm not. I'm going to stick right here because we're going to go through this box. It sounds like cassette tapes. Yeah, it kind of does. That's okay. I like, I like, I want, I want, yeah, oh, we, we better. Always have, hey. Better. More eight tracks. You know, we've been finding those. We have. Or those are, we got those for free. So, oh, we did. Night. Yeah, we got those with all the Nintendos, but look, we got the Eagles. Okay. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see, the average white. I'm trying to see if, I don't have my glasses on, so it's a little harder for me to, to read. Oh, look, here's an Elton John. I like Elton John. Yeah. Okay. Oh, look, here's another Elton John. Oh, that's cool. Okay. There's okay. T-Rex, uh, Larry Norman, PJ and Bobby, Love, the band. So, cool. Hey, this is a great lot, right? Yep. Uh, so, not only do you get a box, but you get it full of eight tracks. Uh, hey, let's just do this. Do we want to see what's in here? Yeah, we do. Okay. We got to pull it down, right? Uh-huh. All right, so let's just do this together, guys. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm, I, I have no idea where to start with some of this stuff. See, look at this guy. Let's see if any of this is silver. Whoa. Is that broke? Oh, there's a clasp on it. Oh no, I just think it's awkwardly big. What, this? Yeah. That's what she said. <laughs> um, it's plated. Little hammers like brass. Man, if any of these were silver, these would be killer. Okay, that's nice. This is really pretty. Look at this, babe. That is pretty. This is 925. What? Look, stamped right there. Awesome. See it? Yep. I sure told y'all guys, there is silver all, all in this thing. Place. And look, that's really pretty. Uh -huh. That's a really and, pretty and it's vintage. handmade piece. Uh -huh. That's silver, y'all. So look at this. This is the kind of stuff that we found. And we found bags and bags of gold necklaces. Uh, but I didn't take them out of there. I don't know if they're real. Uh, so we're going to check them. Uh, but let's just kind of let's get the necklaces out of the way. So much freaking silver, y'all. It's ridiculous. Let's see. Oh, oh, you got any gold over here? These are still pretty. Look, all bagged up, ready to sell. Okay, what about the drawer? Ready. Oh, it's okay. I was checked behind the drawer, y'all. All right, guys, so hey, check it out. More jewelry. Do we see anything else we want to dig in real quick? I mean, I see a ton of stuff I want to yeah. dig in. Um, all right, guys, let me get through some of this because here's what. I am really curious. There's a lockbox down there. What's behind this wall of stuff? Seriously, mm -hmm. how long has this Let's stuff been this here? Wall. Okay, so I'm really curious what's behind all of this. All yeah. of the stuff that I could see, great. Like I told the guy, and you know, when I came in to pay him, he's like, you know, or he told her, he's like, your husband said it's mostly tchotchkes, but he's like, it's not, you know. No, the majority of it's tchotchkes. Uh, but what I couldn't see was the silver, and that's what I took. That's why I went ahead and did it. One, I just I felt bad for the guy, uh, and everybody around here told me he's been trying to sell out to people for years. And so anyway, we went ahead and did it. It looks like it's paying off. The reason why I bought it is because he told me he had cancer, and 
he just looked worn out. And so I did it. So here we are, but uh, the, what I'm really curious about, again, is, is if he's really been here a decade and a half, give or take, what's behind this stuff? And what we just learned from one of the other ladies that we've been talking to uh, pretty much all morning, is really sweet lady, um, is that he was very rarely here. So there's stuff in here that he forgot about, I guarantee it. So anyway, we're gonna get some of this stuff out and we'll be right back. All right guys, we are back, so check this out. I got some of this stuff off, look down here. So this box looks like too much to, to finish this episode off with. So what I'm gonna do is, is we're gonna save this box for episode two of the uh, flea market buyout uh, videos because look, Ooh. Oh. Does it look like coin wrappers, maybe? Look, it's got a rubber band around it, but look down in here. So I have no idea what's in this, but we're going to save this, okay? We're going to save this. Just kind of give you a hint of what might be in here. Let's just kind of look. There's no telling what's all in here, guys. Okay, I'm seeing jewelry boxes and everything. Uh, okay, I'm going to pop this open. And then we're going to save this for episode two. So make sure you come back for episode two for this whole box. Cause it... Nope. Okay, old keys. So I have no idea what's all going to be in here. Hmm. Okay, so check it out. Uh... Okay, so here's the dang deal. I think that that's enough for this video. So stay tuned for the lockbox to the end of this video, and then episode two, we'll start with that and see where we go. Uh, so let me dig the box out, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, so hey, here's the dang deal. Here is your bonus footage, because it actually was a cash register, I'm not gonna lie to you. It was empty. It sounded empty. I'm not even going to go through the freaking thing of making you drag along to see if there's something in it. But so I sat down here. I cleared this section out. And I started sitting here. It looks like what he was doing was sitting here working on his jewelry because I found all these loops. Uh, I opened this up. It was empty. And then I pulled this box out and I can see one word. And I told Gina, grab the camera. Here's the dang deal. The chances of what's in here being real is probably not very high. But he could have forgotten about it. So check this out. I told Gina, I said, look, I said there's an Elegen watch in there. Okay. Um, let's see what the back says. It says a 364 base metal, uh, bezel, steel. Okay, but look, there's an Elgin watch that was in this bag. Okay. Yeah. It's actually a pretty nice watch. Mm -hmm. That's a nice watch. Um, and then I saw, wait, where did I see it? I thought I could, I could have swore I saw. Oh, I did see one. Look. A Rolex. But here's the, wait, here's the dang deal. But that looks pretty nice. It should be etched at the bottom if it's real. Okay. No, it's not real. Look at that bezel. Look at the size of that. Rolex wouldn't do that. Yeah. And look, look at the back. It says China. Dang it. Look, it says Rolex, but then it says China on the back of it. But I mm. saw the Rolex watch, guys, and I was like, man, I gotta grab, gotta grab the freaking camera. Um, this Benrus B E N R U S watch. Okay, that was in there. Not sure, uh, but hey, even little. That's a nice little uh, repop uh -huh. Rolex. Um, and then this Elgin. So let me just make sure there's nothing else in here. Chili pepper lights and broken clock parts and knockoff watches, right? Uh, I'm just gonna call them knockoff. I, I know for sure the Rolex is a knockoff. Uh, the Elgin. I don't know. I'll check that out. Cause it's pretty heavy and eh, I'm gonna say I don't know. Anyway, hey. So here's the dang deal this tub right here make sure that you uh, stay tuned we're gonna do that that big tub of stuff in episode two uh, but look at all these ring boxes <laughs> look at this this tub feels pretty solid and look there's ring boxes okay should we just try one okay let's try one I don't know oh 
There was something in there at one point. Dallas Gold and Silver. Uh, but look, this is full of ring boxes, y'all. It doesn't mean they're all empty. I'm sitting here. We're supposed to do this in the episode. Yeah. Too. All right. Let's hold off. Okay, guys. So there is something in here. Okay. There's obviously something in that. I don't know if there's anything in these. Okay. Nope. There's nothing in that. So it looks like it's just kind of hit or miss, guys. So anyway, hey, that's the dang deal for this episode. So here, uh, make sure to subscribe, right? We're trying to, let's get to 20,000 subscribers. Uh, we're just a few away from 11,000 as of right now. Uh, so let's make sure we hit uh, 11,000 night. Let's keep pushing. Look at all this stuff. We got all this nice stuff, these pewter things. And look, this is a stack of wood boxes back here. So there's no telling what's underneath all of this. Look, big things of jewelry, what's in these. Look, more uh, bracelet boxes. Uh, so guys, there is no telling what is in this thing. So hey, make sure to do all that good stuff and make sure to do the same thing for my future channels. Uh, and other than that, we'll see you at the next unit.